Okay, he's here as I said he would be. We now have in our studio Steve McNabb, lead singer for Garbage, and Steve has brought with him the brand new Garbage LP. Beautiful cover. Thanks, um, Ryan. <laughs> Not yet, Steve. Beautiful cover. Oh. It's the name of your new album. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Beautiful cover by Garbage. Uh, anything you want to say about the new album, Steve? Uh, no, I just want to thank you guys for playing it. Well, Steve, you know we play a lot of garbage on this station. <laughs> yeah. And no. uh, we hope you do very well with this mm -hmm. new LP. Now, uh, didn't you used to be with the Massacres before joining Garbage? Uh, I, I don't understand the question. L let me rephrase it. Didn't sure. you used to be with the Massacres before joining Garbage? Oh, no, I was in juvenile detention before joining Garbage. Mm -hmm. And you uh, had a record while in juvenile detention. Yeah. yeah, but they promised to destroy all my records when I turned 16, you know. And I understand now the group has taken on a new direction with this LP. So. Uh, that's correct. Mm -hmm. The music is still punk rock. But... Oh, no, wait, that's uh, new wave huh? music. We don't call it punk rock, new wave. Oh, sure, whatever. Okay. New wave. Uh, make it easy on yourself. Uh-huh. But we've added strings and a little touch of funky country, you know what I mean? Uh, Steve, now, if, if you had to put your sound in a category, uh, now, I understand musicians don't like hey, to put their music on, in a category, me, uh, categorize your music, but if you had to call it something, break, you know, jazz you? or oh, uh, rock shit. or uh, blues, or, well, if you had to do that, what would you call it? Uh, symphonic punk country disco, I guess. And now that the uh, the album is finished, uh, any plans for a tour in the near future? With uh, the yes, we will be going on tour. Well, tell us about your new stage show coming up then. Uh, well, we just bought three tons of lights from Disneyland. Oh, mm -hmm. And uh, along with these on our upcoming tour, mm -hmm. we'll also utilize a small nuclear reactor, mm -hmm. uh, a smoke machine, a couple mm -hmm. flare guns, uh, some nude dancers on yeah. stage, things mm -hmm. like that, and a fire alarm sprinkler system. Now, Steve, what do you think about this strong trend we're seeing to add all these staging effects uh, to rock concerts? Now, I understand the group you toured with last year did its entire show behind a huge x-ray screen. Oh, it was Probably really had great. an incredible effect on yeah, your group. It was incredible. And uh, more groups every day are electrocuting small animals animals uh -huh. on stage. Uh -huh. What do you think about this new trend to do that? Oh, I think it's terrific. Why is that? Well, after the show, you always have something good to eat, you know? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> uh, this is on the air. People oh, are listening. They are? Well, but... okay. Uh, actually, as uh, more of our concert audiences become deaf mm -hmm. from going to oh, concerts... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Could, uh, I don't think I really caught everything you said at the beginning of that sentence. Could you repeat it? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. As more of our audiences become deaf mm -hmm. from yeah. going to concerts... Yeah the more they need something to see when they go I to see. Concert, you know. Now, in addition to these special effects I see in the back of the album here, you've added a few new members to the group. Uh, that's, a couple other that's true. Personnel You're changes. absolutely right. Could you tell me uh, who's in the group? Yes. So who's on lead? No, who's on bass? Who? Yes. Well, what's the drummer's name? No, what's the lead guitar player's name? I don't know. He's the drummer. Who's the drummer? No, who's on bass? Who? Yes. Who's on bass? Right. Who? Right. Who? Who? On bass. Right. The bass player. Who? The guy on bass. Right. Who? The bass player. Who? You got it! I do. Let's just move to the horn section, okay? Uh, why don't we just look at some of the songs on the album instead? What do you think? You can uh, look at them all if you want. Good. Let's start with song one, cut one. Um, it's entitled Lovely Lady. That's uh, very original. Yeah, I bet you never heard a song like this one before. Uh, no, no, I haven't. What's it about? Well, it's about being on the road, you That's know? a good idea. We thought it would be original to write a song about being on the road, because mm -hmm. uh, as a rock group, we're always on the road, you know what I mean? I see. Well, what about, it's what about, about roadies and groupies and yeah. shit like that. Well, this song here called Bend Over Beethoven, uh, who wrote that? Yes, and he did a hell of a good job, too. Uh, who? Right. Who wrote it? Yes. Who? Yes. He's on bass, right? Who? Who? The race player? Right. Why don't we just listen to the song, uh, Bend Over Beethoven, uh, sure. by Garbage, from the new album, Beautiful Cover, and... Uh, yeah, and listen, I wanted to tell you that uh, this is the only song on the album that has the original members of the group including Scott Lowe on Explosives. That's interesting. Yes, that's because this song was recorded way, way back when the group first got together. And uh, how long ago was that? Uh, three months ago. Oh, okay, this is from the uh, new Garbage LP entitled... Beautiful... Simply entitled. Simply entitled, right. Beautiful Cover, and this is called Bend Over Beethoven. Beethoven. 